In this video, I'm going to show you how to, to set up and use Huawei B593 uh, 4G router. This is my router, which was originally by T-Mobile, which has been unlocked and I can use with any 4G network around the world. As you can see, uh, these routers, such as most of the other Huawei routers, have got different variations. This is uh, B593U-12. The good thing with this router, the different variations are almost more or less the same. Uh, some of them are unlocked, uh, made directly and uh, sold directly by Huawei. That is because... Uh, some people prefer to have them unlocked and buy di directly from Huawei. Some variations have uh, different meaning. For example, this is this model is sold by T-Mobile. This is the router. The good thing for this router is that it's got four LAN connections. So uh, if you want to connect it to any other router or directly to a computer, it's a very good option. And it's got a USB slot, USB port, that you can have your uh, flash memory or your printer shared in the network and it can easily replace your home network. Well, this is the way we insert SIM card. This router requires standard SIM card. As you can see, there is a direction of how to insert SIM card. I'm gonna insert my SIM card. Please remember, this is the way you need to insert your SIM card and you need to have a full SIM card inserted. And when you put it inside, you see, you hear a click. Once you insert the SIM card, you need to connect the power supply. This is the power supply. This is a UK model. I'm gonna insert the power supply and then uh, plug it to the main. After you plug it to the mains, to the electricity, you need to turn the router on. And what you need to do is to wait for a few minutes for the router to get started. We need to wait a few seconds until the router is synchronizing itself. And I mean, it's going to automatically find the network and get connected. Uh, it's gonna depend on your network coverage. It's gonna make. It's gonna. You need to wait maybe up to three five minutes while we are waiting for the router to get set up because these routers are mostly automatic. Means you don't need to do much of configuration unless there is a problem. I'm gonna show you other features of this router. As you can see, there is another uh, USB port here. The good thing with this router is that it's, it's got external ports for two antennas. You can install different antennas, indoor antennas or outdoor antennas uh, to have a better reception, especially if your signal is weak. It's a good idea to have um, external antennas. So here I'm going to show you the, uh, the router's default username and password is normally printed on the back of the router. So if you want to do the maintenance, this is the link that you need to go on and the SSID and the password, the default password is written. One more thing I need to tell you is the reset button. If you need to reset your router, you need to insert the pin inside this hole and hold it for up to one minute until the router gets re uh, restarted and reset. This way, if for example, if this router is second hand or someone is or someone else has cha cho changed the username and password, by resetting the router, you will, you're gonna have the default username and password which is written on the back of the router. Okay, I think it took about uh, two minutes for the router to get synchronized. As you can see, here is the wireless LAN icon uh, blinking means. I have Wi-Fi and here is the mood uh, the sorry the mode button which shows that the when it's 
uh, blinking in blue it means the router is synchronized and you can use it I want to do the speed check and show you the configuration as you can see here I've got only two bars which means my reception is not good enough so I may not expecting a good or excellent speed so two small bars out of five bars okay now I want to connect it with wireless so here is my wireless connections I click on that and uh, SSID I can see it here and before I have put the password as I have seen on the back of the router and I've already connected the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna do a command run CMD and then enter the next command is I need to do is IP config it shows my IP address and this is the default gateway or the router IP address as you can see it's 192.168.1.1 so I'm gonna launch my browser and I'm gonna go there on top type the address 192.168.1.1 that one most of the routers are using this IP address as their default IP address sometimes it is uh, the last digit is 254 and sometimes for other Huawei router is 192.168.8.1 so I'm gonna enter and I can see I've already liked to the router menu So this is German but I can easily change the language to English so I click English and it's asking me for the password the password is printed on the back of the router that's the admin, admin password which is different from the Wi-Fi key and then login so this is the the status of the router as you can see and it shows network mode is LTE is connected as you can see here on top the signal is not good enough and this is the IP address or my valid IP address and this is the MAC address now I go on the LAN settings I can see I haven't connected as you can see I haven't connected anything to my LAN ports so all of the four ports are free this is the one settings so shows the encryption the SSID the IP the default IP address of the gateway and shows that uh, it's working and this is the antenna so the status is internal antenna enabled if you want things easy up and going you can go to easy setup and make the changes in here like sim settings internet settings wlan settings security wps and everything or you can go to the settings and do them manually if you want to upgrade the firmware sometimes you can upgrade the firmware sometimes you cannot so it's in here if you want to reset it if you want to back up the configuration it's in here and here's the general setting and this is the usb management where you can have your USB port connected or you have a USB printer shared on your network uh, we have the advanced settings for options such as port forwarding are in here uh, it's quite simple to use now the next thing I'm gonna